The death toll in Hawaii now stands at 99 following the deadliest U.S. wildfire in more than a century. About 1,000 people remain unaccounted for and crews have only scoured about a quarter of the search area so far. While the Chattahoochee Valley may not be directly impacted by the wildfires, residents here are heading up support efforts. WRBL's Hannah James explains. Teresa Phil, state officials say 86% of the more than 2,200 structures that were destroyed were residential. One Hawaii native and local business owner shares what it was like to learn her home fell victim to the nation's deadliest natural disaster. Kalani Sales was born and raised on Oahu. In 2003, she and her family came to then Fort Benning. However, with family still in Hawaii, Learning about the wildfires a day later left her in disbelief. I seen that and I was like, what? Like, this is not even real. Like, so immediately, you know, you're contacting your friends, families, just to, you know, make sure, you know, everybody's okay. It sent her back to 2018 when the island she grew up on was wiped out by a volcano eruption. It just brought back memories. I'm like, I, I can't believe like that something like that is hap has happened or is happening. And just seeing, you know, people running, people crying, not knowing what to do. Sales knew exactly how to help from more than 4,000 miles away. She has started the Maui Relief Movement. I made that post a few days ago, um, just the post about taking donations. And then just right away, like people were like uh, texting me, calling me, emailing me, you know. This is where my heart is at because I'm a Hawaiian girl, island girl, I gotta help my, my people out. In just three days, five businesses have joined, setting up drop-off sites for donation items across the Chattahoochee Valley. I'm glad that, uh, that um, we can be a small part of trying to help, you know, just help them out in, in some way. When, when you see the list of what she, the things that they need, they're so basic. Donations can be dropped off at the Harris County Public Library, Paul's Humane Society in Columbus, NG Hair Salon and Tonsorial on Fortson Road, German Foods, Gifts and More in Phoenix City, and U.S. Army Combative School on Fort Moore. To those that were directly impacted, sales has one message. I know like these donations are can bring your family back, but we hope that it'll help at least put some ease, you know, to your families when you do get back on your feet. Currently, sales is asking for donations of basic items, water, toilet paper, paper towels, hygiene items, and food. The full donation list and locations can be found on our website later tonight. That's WRBL.com. Back to you both.